Born on March 5, 1955, in Greenfield, Massachusetts, the writer was the son of a department store owner. His childhood was filled with a love for magic and music, leading him to learn the art of magic from an early age. The writer's father encouraged his passion for magic and even built a magic shop in his department store. The writer's love for magic and performance art led him to attend Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College in 1973. There, he met his future partner, Teller, and the two formed a professional and personal relationship that would last for decades. The writer's upbringing and early exposure to magic and performance art were key influences in his path to becoming a successful magician, writer, and performer. He often cites his father as a significant influence, encouraging his love for magic and supporting his dreams. In addition to his father, the writer has also cited several mentors and influences who have inspired his craft. One such influence is Harry Houdini, the famous magician and escape artist. The writer has often spoken about his admiration for Houdini's daring stunts and his ability to captivate audiences. Another significant influence on the writer's career is the work of musician Frank Zappa. The writer has often cited Zappa's music and performances as a source of inspiration for his own work particularly in terms of pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. Throughout his career, the writer has continued to be influenced by a wide range of artists and performers, from magicians and musicians to comedians and writers. His ability to draw inspiration from a variety of sources has helped him to create a unique and captivating style that has resonated with audiences around the world. Have you heard of the talented writer Penn Jillette? If not, you're missing out on a remarkable career. You might have first recognized the writer through their work in magic shows or their books. One of their most legendary works is the television show Penn and Teller Fool Us, which showcases magicians from around the world. This show truly defined their career and solidified their status as a classic star. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic figure? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the writer's life, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and sad facts. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this captivating individual. Did you know that the writer's career started in the 1970s? They've been entertaining and inspiring audiences for decades. Their work has not only resonated with fans, but has also left an indelible mark in the annals of history. So, when was the first time you recognized the writer? And out of their many legendary works, which one do you believe defined their career? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. As a young child, the writer was already captivated by magic tricks. He would often put on shows for his family and friends, leaving them amazed and amused. One day, when he was 12 years old, he saw a magician named Harry Anderson perform on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. The writer was mesmerized by Anderson's act and knew then that he wanted to become a magician and entertainer. From that moment on, the writer practiced magic tricks tirelessly, perfecting his craft and developing his unique style. He also discovered a love for performing live on stage, which he found to be more thrilling than filming TV shows. This passion led him to form a partnership with Teller, and together they created the iconic duo Penn and Teller, pushing the boundaries of magic and entertainment. Throughout his career, the writer has remained dedicated to his craft, constantly seeking new ways to amaze and entertain audiences. His work is a testament to his unwavering passion for magic and performance, inspiring generations of aspiring magicians and entertainers. Penn Jillette, more than just a writer, has significantly influenced the film industry. During his era, he co-created and wrote for the hit television show Bullshit, which aired from 23 to 2010. This show, known for its provocative and humorous commentary, left an indelible mark on the reality TV genre. In the realm of film, Gillette co-wrote and starred in the 2005 movie The Aristocrat, which became a cult classic. The film, a documentary about a notorious dirty joke, showcased Gillette's unique storytelling ability and his influence in pushing boundaries in Hollywood. Gillette's work often transcended traditional narrative structures, incorporating elements of documentary, reality TV, and comedy. His contributions have helped shape the film industry, leaving a vibrant and captivating landscape for future filmmakers to step in. Beyond his own work, Gillette has been a vocal advocate for free speech and creative freedom in Hollywood. His influence resonates not just in the films and shows he's created, 
but in the broader culture of the industry. In the world of entertainment, Penn Jillette's impact is still felt today, a testament to his enduring influence and intrigue. His work continues to resonate with audiences, offering a unique and captivating perspective on the human experience. The writer, Penn Jillette, faced significant financial struggles in his early career. With meager beginnings, he and his partner often performed on the streets for loose change. Despite the hardships, they remained committed to their craft, perfecting their art, and honing their skills. As they gradually gained recognition, the writer and his partner encountered skepticism from industry professionals. Many doubted their potential for success, dismissing their unique style and unconventional approach. However, the writer refused to be discouraged. Instead, he used this skepticism as motivation to push the boundaries of what was considered possible in their field. To overcome these obstacles, the writer devised creative solutions. He leveraged emerging technologies, such as television and film, to reach wider audiences. By taking risks and embracing new opportunities, the writer and his partner were able to establish themselves as pioneers in their industry. Through resilience and determination, the writer transformed initial financial struggles and industry skepticism into a successful and enduring career. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of perseverance and innovation in the face of adversity. The writer, along with their partner Teller, has been the star of a nightly show at the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada since 2003. The duo is famous for their unique blend of comedy and magic as the team Penn and Teller. It's interesting to note that the writer is known for their clean lifestyle as they never drink or smoke. These habits, along with their dedication to their craft, have helped the writer maintain a successful career in the entertainment industry. After decades in the entertainment industry, several breakthrough moments have defined the writer's career. In the late 70s, the writer, along with his partner, formed the magic duo Penn and Teller. Their unique blend of magic, comedy, and skepticism quickly gained attention, leading to a successful off-Broadway show in 1985. A significant recognition came in 1989 when they received the W.C. Fields Award for their contribution to magic. This award marked a turning point, establishing them as innovative figures in the field. In the 90s, the writer ventured into television with Penn and Teller Sin City Spectacular, which earned an Emmy nomination. This marked their successful transition from stage to screen, opening new opportunities. In 2003, the writer published his memoir Sock, offering a deep dive into his personal life and career. The book was well received, with critics praising his honesty and humor. This literary achievement added a new dimension to his career, showcasing his storytelling abilities. The writer's work has not only resonated with audiences, but also influenced fellow magicians and entertainers. His collaborator, Teller, described their partnership as a marriage of true minds, highlighting their shared commitment to innovation. Critics have lauded the writer for his ability to challenge conventions and engage audiences. His work, whether on stage, screen, or page, has consistently pushed boundaries, making him a standout figure in the entertainment industry. The writer, known for their work as the original announcer for Comedy Central, has an interesting connection to one of the network's TV shows. During the opening credits, it was actually the writer who threw the knife that sticks into the board, adding a unique personal touch to the show. In addition to their contributions to television, the writer has also made their mark in the world of live theater. In 2013, they were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for their work in this field, located at 7003 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. This honor recognizes the writer's long-standing impact and success in the entertainment industry. The writer, Penn Jillette, is known for his unique approach to creativity, blending humor, skepticism, and a love for magic. Growing up, he was heavily influenced by magicians and comedians, which shaped his artistic vision. He often incorporates elements of surprise and misdirection in his work, keeping audiences engaged and entertained. In the writer's book, God, no, he reflects on his personal experiences and worldview, using humor to discuss serious topics like atheism and personal freedom. His honesty and vulnerability resonate with readers, making his work relatable and thought-provoking. The writer's television show Bullshit is another example of his unique style. In the show, he and his co-host debunk pseudoscience and challenge popular beliefs. 
This reflects his commitment to critical thinking and skepticism, which are integral to his artistic process in his creative work. The writer often explores themes of individuality, free will, and the power of questioning authority. These themes are deeply personal to him, reflecting his own experiences and values. By sharing his perspective, he encourages audiences to think critically and question the world around them. In conclusion, the writer's artistic vision and process are shaped by his unique worldview and personal experiences. Through his work, he challenges audiences to think critically and question popular beliefs, leaving a lasting impact on those who engage with his creations. Penn Jillette's son, Zoltan Penn Jillette, was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, on May 22, 26, weighing 8 pounds, 13 ounces. He joined his 11-month-old sister, Moxie crime fighter Gillette. In the early years of the show, guest performances were common, featuring the likes of Andy Kaufman, Al Franken, Tom Davis, Michael O'Donoghue, Michael Davis, Harry Anderson, Stephen Wright, Penn Gillette, Teller, and Sam Kinison. However, by the late 1980s, guest appearances became increasingly rare. Outside of his work in entertainment, Penn Gillette is a Cotto Institute HL, Macon Research Fellow. In this role, he has contributed to the intellectual discourse surrounding individual liberties and free markets. His fellowship is a testament to his commitment to promoting these values and advancing the ideas of classical liberalism. Penn Gillette, known for his work as a writer and half of the magic duo Penn and Teller, has made significant contributions to the entertainment industry. His unique storytelling style often combines magic, skepticism, and humor, creating a distinctive imprint on the industry. The writer's influence can be seen in the way he challenges conventional storytelling norms. Gillette's approach often involves revealing the secrets behind magic tricks, a technique that goes against traditional magician tactics. This transparency has inspired other performers to experiment with similar storytelling methods, thus influencing trends in the industry. In an interview, Neil Patrick Harris, another renowned magician and actor, praised Gillette's work, stating, Penn's willingness to break the mold and share the mechanics of magic has added a fresh layer of intrigue to our craft. Moreover, Gillette's writing for the long-running show Penn and Teller Bullshit showcases his ability to tackle controversial topics with wit and skepticism. The series, which debunked pseudoscience and challenged popular beliefs, became a cult classic and influenced similar reality-based investigative shows. Industry expert and television producer Ricky Gervais commented on Gillette's influence, saying, Penn's writing has always been fearless. He isn't afraid to tackle any subject, no matter how contentious. This boldness has inspired many of us in the industry to push our own boundaries. In addition to his work in television, Gillette has also contributed to the literary world with his New York Times bestseller, God, No! Signs You May Already Be an Atheist and Other Magical Tales. The book, which combines memoir, humor, and philosophical discussions, further showcases Gillette's unique storytelling abilities. In conclusion, Penn Gillette's contributions to the entertainment industry are marked by his innovative storytelling techniques and fearless approach to controversial topics. His work has inspired many in the industry and continues to influence trends in magic, television, and literature. After attending the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College, the writer embarked on a partnership with Kim Johnson Herjevic for the sixth season of Dancing with the Stars in March 2008. Despite having no prior experience, the writer learned how to play poker in just eight days before appearing on Celebrity Poker Showdown on July 15, 2004. The writer, Penn Gillette, leads a life that is as colorful outside of his professional sphere as it is within. Away from the spotlight, he is a devoted family man, married to his wife Emily for over two decades. Together, they have two children. Gillette is also an avid runner and has completed several marathons. Gillette's personal values and interests often intertwine with his work. He is a vocal advocate for freedom of speech and individual rights, often incorporating these themes into his writing. His libertarian views are well known, and he has been a guest speaker at various libertarian events. Philanthropy plays a significant role in the writer's life. He is passionate about fighting hunger and poverty. Along with his business partner, Teller, Gillette co-founded the Las Vegas-based charity, the Penn and Teller Foundation. The organization supports various causes, including the homeless, children's literacy, and animal rights. Gillette is also a prominent supporter of the American Civil Liberties Union 
and has donated generously to the organization. He has been open about his atheism and is a strong advocate for the separation of church and state. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, the writer is an accomplished musician. He plays the bass and has performed with several bands. Music often finds its way into his writing, adding another layer to his already rich narrative style. Gillette's life is a testament to his belief in living freely and authentically. His personal values and interests, from individual rights to music, add depth and complexity to his work, making him a truly unique voice in his field. In his Vegas show, the writer plays the upright bass and contributes to the composition of some songs. His inability to recognize faces is well documented, with stories of him not recognizing his own mother after a show. The writer and his wife welcome their daughter, Moxie crime fighter Gillette, into the world on a Friday in early June 2005. The writer, Penn Gillette, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his work in magic, comedy, and literature, he has consistently challenged conventional norms and pushed boundaries. His unique blend of skepticism, atheism, and libertarianism has made him a compelling figure who encourages critical thinking and thoughtful debate. Throughout his career, Gillette has demonstrated a commitment to creative freedom and innovation. His work in the film The Aristocrats and the television show Penn and Teller Bullshit showcases his ability to tackle complex subjects with humor and intelligence. Moreover, his New York Times best-selling books, such as God, No, and Presto, provide insight into his personal beliefs and creative process. When asked about his future contributions, Gillette expressed his desire to continue creating and pushing boundaries. He remains passionate about promoting critical thinking and challenging authority, and he hopes to inspire future generations to do the same. Gillette's advice for aspiring professionals in his field is to stay true to oneself and not be afraid to take risks. He emphasizes the importance of creativity, innovation, and hard work, and encourages young professionals to find their unique voice and use it to make a difference. Furthermore, Gillette stresses the value of perseverance and resilience. He notes that success rarely comes overnight and that setback and failures are inevitable. However, he believes that with determination and a willingness to learn, anyone can achieve their goals and make a meaningful impact in their field. In short, Penn Gillette's legacy in the entertainment industry is one of creativity, innovation, and critical thinking. His future contributions promise to be just as impactful, and his advice for aspiring professionals is a testament to his enduring commitment to artistic freedom and self-expression. The writer, known for his unique style, once owned a bright pink oversized sport utility vehicle, which he nicknamed Pink Death. He had spent several thousand dollars on a customized sound system for it. The vehicle had a Nevada vanity license plate that reads 666. This eye-catching vehicle was sold in 2005 to raise funds for JREF. In addition to this, the writer also performed at the Minnesota Renaissance Festival. His performances were a unique blend of magic, comedy, and commentary, which left a lasting impression on the audience. The writer, along with his partner, filmed all of their scenes for the show My Chauffeur in one day over a 16-hour stretch starting early morning on September 13, 1985. Their dedication and hard work were evident in the final product, which was well received by the audience. After embracing magic at a young age, the writer, Penn Gillette, formed a partnership with Teller in 1975, creating a unique duo that would leave an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Their innovative approach to magic, blending humor, thought-provoking ideas, and a punk rock sensibility set them apart from their contemporaries. The writer's passion for pushing boundaries was evident in their television show Bullshit, where they debunk pseudoscience and challenge societal norms. This innovative program showcased their commitment to critical thinking and free speech, further solidifying their status as trailblazers. In the realm of literature, the writer penned several captivating books, including God, No, and Presto, offering readers an intimate look into his life and philosophies. These works resonate with audiences, providing insight into the writer's complex worldview and enduring creativity. The writer's impact transcended the magic and entertainment industries, extending into film, television, and literature. His unwavering dedication to his craft and his willingness to take risks have left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and entertain. In the tapestry of entertainment history, 
The writer's contributions stand out as a vibrant and captivating thread. By stepping into the world of magic and challenging conventions, the writer has created an indelible mark that will continue to resonate for generations to come. Reflecting on the writer's journey, one can't help but be inspired by his perseverance and creativity. His story serves as a testament to the power of following one's passion and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. In the end, the writer's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that with creativity and determination, one can leave an indelible mark on the world. The writer and Michael Moshin were high school classmates, sharing memories and experiences that likely contributed to their individual creative journeys. After his time in high school, the writer had his first work of fiction, titled Sock, published in July 2004. This marked a significant milestone in his career as an author. A unique habit of the writer is that he always paints the nail of the ring finger on his left hand. This quirk, while seemingly insignificant, is a testament to his individuality and personal style. It's possible that this habit has some personal meaning or is simply a mannerism he has developed over the years. Regardless, it adds a touch of intrigue to his public persona. The writer Penn Gillette has deep roots in North America, with his paternal grandparents hailing from Newfoundland, Canada, and his mother's family from Massachusetts. His ancestry is primarily English, Scottish, and includes more distant Guernsey and Irish heritage. The Gillette family in Newfoundland originally came from England. In addition to his writing career, the writer is also known for his talent in fire eating, which he demonstrated on an episode of his game show, Identity, in 2006. Penn Gillette was born to Valda Ruth, a secretary, and Samuel Herbert Gillette, who worked at Greenfield's Franklin County Jail. From a young age, the writer was exposed to the world of law enforcement and administration, which may have influenced his career in various ways. In the film Hackers, the writer, known as Penn Gillette in the credits, plays the character Hal. This name is likely a nod to the HAL 9000 computer system from the classic sci-fi movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. The writer is known for his unique sense of humor, and in this film, he jokes that he paints his fingernails because he shot a man for asking him personal questions. In reality, it's just a joke between him and his mother. In the movie My Chauffeur, the writer appears as Bone. At the beginning of the film, when O'Brien pulls up to the restaurant to deliver the letter to Casey, the act on the marquee next door reads Penn and Teller. This is because the writer and his partner, Teller, both have parts in the film. These are just a few examples of the writer's many appearances in film and television. With his signature look and sharp wit, he has made a name for himself as a beloved and memorable character actor. Whether he's playing a serious role or cracking jokes, he always brings his unique energy and style to every performance. As you reflect on the writer's career, you can't help but be amazed by the wide range of projects they've taken on. From their work in film and television to their books and stage shows, the writer has truly done it all. One of the writer's most notable contributions to entertainment is their work in magic. As one half of the famous duo Penn and Teller, the writer has helped to redefine the art of magic for a whole new generation. Their unique blend of humor and showmanship has made their act a must-see for anyone who loves magic. But the writer's talents go far beyond the world of magic. They've also made a name for themselves as an author, with a number of best-selling books to their name. In their writing, the writer has tackled everything from politics to religion, always approaching each topic with their signature wit and intelligence. And let's not forget about the writer's work in television. From their reality show pen and teller foolish to their guest appearances on other popular shows, the writer has become a familiar face to millions of viewers around the world. With such a diverse and accomplished career, it's no wonder that the writer has left such a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. So what do you think about the writer's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this celebration of the writer's career, be sure to like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.